So we've been having a blast with our strings. We have taken our strings in applied bracket notation so that we can individually access parts of our string. And if we took this zero right here, put it within bracket notation, what would happen is we would be able to access our C and a C would show up in the console. But as you could imagine, what if you had to search a string? What if you had to split a string apart and you had to do this all through bracket notation? You would essentially become insane and lose your mind because it would take you so long and it would be so tedious that it would drive you insane. But luckily for us, JavaScript understands this and they give us these things called helper methods. And all helper methods are are pretty much tools that allow you to do something like this. And you don't need to you don't need to understand what a function is right now. But let's just say you uh, had a dot and you did two lowercase on this string. What would happen is it would lowercase each individual character, and it kind of just makes sense. Like if you look at this method right here, you can kind of just tell what it does. And JavaScript gives you all these cool tools so that, like I said, it makes your life a lot easier. And we're gonna go through the most common ones that you are going to see when you actually start working. So the first one is going to be the good old index of. And an index of is, a search operation. So instead of you having to go through and check each individual bracket, what you can do is just use this index of and put the word that you're looking for. So you put in a string into here and you could type in almost anything. You could put in stingray. So if you wanted to search for the word stingray right here, what would happen is that it would go through each individual letter. So it would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it would return a nine because the S or the stingray, the letter that you are searching for, is going to be at the ninth index, hence why they call it an index of. So it's essentially a search operation that will return the index of the actual word that you put within this fancy string helper method function. And you type in the string in here and that's essentially all you do and JavaScript does all the work for you. So we're in our actual Chrome DevTools console. If you don't know how to actually get here, I'm in my browser right now. What you want to do is you want to go to inspect, you want to go to console and it will bring you to the console. What you want to do first is just declare a string of your favorite type of stingray. So my favorite type of stingray is obviously the cow nose stingray. It's kind of, it's not the best looking stingray, but it's kind of cute in a way that is so ugly. So we'll just go with that. So cow nose stingray. And the cow nose stingray is going to be given the value right here. And we're going to make sure that you give it a let because we're going to be changing it. And what you want to do is just take your actual variable right here and then just apply the method to it. So we go, uh, we go dot and then we'll go index of and here is where we will pass in the stingray and make sure that you type in actual stingray and not stringray and if you go ahead and you type that in you in fact get nine because it's going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine and it's going to count all the way to the point where it gets the stingray and it's going to return the number of the index. And if you don't know what indexes are, just make sure to check out my previous video. What if there is no stingray or what if you misspell stingray? So let's go ahead and I'll show you what happens if there's nothing actually in it. And this is actually an important part. So what if I go in here, I go index of, so, and instead of actual stingray, I type in stringray. I type in the wrong word. What will happen is that you will get a negative one because it is going to return a positive number if you do find the actual stingray. But if you don't find it or you misspell it or it's not in the actual string, just remember that you are going to get a negative one and that's all you really need to know. So the next string method, and this is one that you are going to see a ton. You will see slices everywhere. A slice is sort of the way that it sounds. If you were to slice a lemon or you were to slice a lime for your margarita or whatever type of drink that you want, all that you would do is cut it in half. You would cut it at some predetermined place 
so that you could get more utility out of your lime. You can't put a whole entire lime inside of your margarita. And that's kind of the whole entire idea behind a slice. We are going to slice this cow nose off and we are going to make it so that we just get a stingray because I'm getting kind of tired of cow nose. I think it's kind of uh, not the best term. I just like the word stingray. So what we're going to do is we are going to actually slice this string so that all that we have is string stingray. And the way that you would do that is you would have index values. You put index values within your slice. And the way, and I'll just go ahead and give you the answer. Ours is going to start with a nine and I think it ends at 24, but here's what you do when you need to figure out how to slice your number. So let's go back into our Chrome DevTools and I'm gonna show you a neat little trick. So in order to do a slice very easily, all that you want to do is you want to go into your Chrome DevTools, get your favorite Stingray, go slice, just so ahead, go ahead and type out slice. And we know that the Stingray starts at nine from our index up. That is sort of a gimme. But if you want to be able to get the actual string stingray out, all that you do is just type in 21, just like this, and it will instantly do a lot of the work for you. So what you do is you just go 10, or you go 10, go 11. So we go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 17 is the number where we want to stop so that we can just slice out the stingray and not slice out anything else. So the indexes between nine and 17 are going to be the exact numbers that you want. And that's all you really need to do in order to be able to slice very easily, very simple. So our next string helper method is going to be another easy one. String helper methods are not complex at all. So let's just say, we don't, once again, we don't like cow nose. The cow nose thing's kind of weird. We just want a good old fashioned manta ray. A good old, nothing wrong with a good old fashioned manta ray. And we want to get rid of this cow nose thing. How do we actually do that? What you would do is simply use the actual string method replace. And replace is exactly the way it sounds. So if we want to take cow nose out and we want to replace it with a more appropriate manta ray, all that you would do is place the cow nose first and then the actual string that you want to replace it second. So we will go cow nose. So it's a cow nose right here. And then after this, we will have Manta. And when we have the Manta, what is going to happen once again is that cow nose is going to be gone and Manta Ray is going to be replaced. So we will have a Manta Stingray or a manta ray, whatever you want to call it, but I think manta stingray is a lot more official. So let's go ahead, let's hop in our Chrome DevTools and let's figure this thing out. So I'm gonna go down here and I am going to get my favorite stingray and I am going to replace the cow nose. So we'll say cow nose with manta and let's go ahead and see what we get here. So we'll go canta or Manta, so we go Manta, and the actual string that we get back is a Manta Stingray and no longer a Cow Nose Stingray. Our string is looking awesome. Anyway, those are going to be the most common forms of string array methods that you guys are going to see. Not very complex, not complex at all. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.